guys are about to drop the body on this Jeep. This is a 08 or 09, I believe, JKUR. What's a little different about this build is we're using all of our easy install components. We've got our bolt-on billet brackets, we've got our easy harness, and we've got our easy motor mounts. And one thing I'll say about these motor mounts is they allow you to change the position of the motor up and down and fore and aft so you can fine tune its position. No fabrication was done on this chassis. No drilling, no cutting, no grinding, and no fabrication will be done on the body either. You can see they have the body prepped here. We got our heater hoses on. You will notice that those heater hoses have 90 degree bends on them where they go up against the firewall. You want to do that in these truck motors because you have this tall intake. I like to run them right up along the battery tray and then down to the heater core. It keeps them up off the engine and out of the way. This is a pretty clean build. What you see there in the firewall plugged in is basically the entire C100 harness that we're now including in our easy install kits and it's all plug and play so basically this body is going to drop we're going to plug everything in and start it up now with Mocan there's nothing to install in the interior other than the gas pedal and the data link connector you see my guys have this set up for the exhaust we have our now notice there's only one O2 sensor on this side and that's because the other one's going to be in the chassis harness as we discussed earlier it's going to come off one of these connectors on the factory harness. You can see we got our fuel line and purge line hooked up. We got our evap canister relocated to the back. You don't have to do that, of course. That's optional. So, literally, this build is only going to take a couple of days, and we're doing this over a weekend with these bolt in mounts, billet brackets, and easy harness. It's really simplified this build down to a weekend project or a week project based on your diligence. Here's our easy Jeep build. This Jeep has all of our new easy technology. We've got our bolt-on billet brackets for the air compressor, power steering pump, and alternator. We've got our new easy harness. You can see how clean that is. Mitch has just got one or two connectors here under the ECM, plug and play. We've got our new engine mounts, easy engine mounts, no cutting, no drilling, no welding. Let's fire it up, Mitch. We've been on this build really two days, three days with a weekend. You can see the engine moves as much as it needs to, but not much more. These mounts are from a high horsepower LS. V8, so you shouldn't have any problems with these holding up even to a 500 horsepower engine. So let's take a quick look here. You can see our power steering pump is right back where it was. We don't have a tensioner on this yet. We're putting a new tensioner on it so the belt's not on. You can see that we're running the stock power steering hoses, lines, stock reservoir and stock location, stock battery cables going right back to where they went on the 3.8, that's the starter motor and the block. Over here you can see we have our billet AC bracket, it's bolt-on. We've made some improvements now, so you no longer have to tap the compressor. We have a nut plate that goes on the back, so it's all, it's all bolt-in, plug-and-play. Put your JK alternator right back where it was, the original connector plugs in, the original AC compressor plug goes right back in and your original AC pressure sensor is going to go right back on once we have the uh, AC lines on. You see these two bolts over here, this build is running a Camaro SS fan. What that means is it doesn't have the slot for the coolant bottle. So we have our own bracket that mounts the cool coolant bottle right here off the front of the head. Very clean. We do use stainless steel bottles, not aluminum or plastic. We find the stainless steel holds up the best, especially in environments where there's a lot of corrosion. This harness is a factory GM harness, so it has all the original clips and connectors and hold downs that a factory harness would have. In fact, if you get a lift out engine, you don't even need to remove the harness. You're just simply going to pull it over and plug it into your computer. So basically, this entire engine compartment is stock. Stock connectors for the Chrysler side, stock connectors for the GM side.